हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज कॉल्ड एज नो योर टूल्स हियर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द वेरियस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एंड मटेरियल्स यूज्ड इन डेंटिस्ट्री होप यू गाइस फाइंड इट यूजफुल बिफोर वी बिगिन डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब आइकन सो दैट यू डू नॉट मिस आउट ऑन एनी ऑफ द न्यू वीडियोज पोस्टेड सो टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ग्लव्स gloves are a very important material used in dental practice these are used to protect oneself as well as the patient from infection according to use in medical field gloves are classified as examination gloves and surgical gloves now as the name suggests examination gloves are used for the examination of the oral cavity and other non surgical procedures which involve contact with the mucous membranes whereas surgical gloves are used for surgical procedures the examination gloves are non sterile single use and disposable so you we use it for one patient and then you discard it surgical gloves are sterile single use disposable again same thing use for one patient and then discard it safely depending on the materials used we have the latex gloves and nitrile gloves latex originates from hevea brasiliensis tree during the manufacturing process the sap is processed with various chemicals and additives to form what we have the natural latex now these latex gloves are cost effective they have a superior fit they may be lightly powdered and they can be worn for an extended period of time these are elastic strong and the most commonly used gloves in dentistry but latex is also notorious for causing reactions there may be an immediate hypersensitivity type of reaction which may cause mild reactions as well as severe reactions mild symptoms include rash redness itching whereas the severe symptoms include sneezing runny nose itchy eyes there may also be irritant contact dermatitis wherein the hands on contact with the gloves they become dry and patchy so how do you manage these adverse reactions to latex either use powder free latex gloves or use non latex gloves Now nitrile gloves are an alternative to latex. This is a synthetic reprocessed form of latex and it's a copolymer of butadiene and acrylonitrile. Now these are highly puncture resistant and they have excellent chemical resistance. Any sort of damage or tear can be easily noticed. Because these are available in two colors. We have the blue and black nitrile gloves. which helps in identification of punctures but they do come with certain limitations these are less flexible when compared to latex gloves they have less tactile sensitivity and also a slightly higher cost these gloves they can get damaged on exposure to ozone or uv light an ideal glove should be the one that you can easily remove from the packaging easily put it on it should provide flexibility in terms of movement it should fit well it shouldn't be too loose or too tight and you should be able to have a secure grip and tactile sensitivity now all these are subjective and task dependent powdered gloves have starch powder present on both the inner as well as the outer surfaces The amount of powder present depends on the manufacturing process. The powder was put in mainly to get the gloves to easily slip on. This powder may get dispersed in the dental environment through direct or indirect contact, aerosolization and torn or perforated gloves. It was found that this powder could cause many issues. There were glove associated reactions that is of the contact dermatitis type respiratory complications now if this powder was left behind in periodontal pockets or extraction wounds 
it was found to trigger inflammation and delay wound healing so powder free gloves were recommended if powder gloves are used choose the ones with low powder levels and decrease the activities which disperse powder that is regular swapping of the gloves on and off so how do you select a glove first consider the type of procedure to be performed are you going to be examining the patient or are you going to be performing some surgical procedure so accordingly you can select the examination gloves or surgical gloves next comes the material depending on your skin sensitivity that is in case you have latex allergy you can switch to nitrile gloves or vice versa fit the glove should be fitting your hands properly if they are too large they can hinder task performance if they are too small it will be uncomfortable then you should have good tactile sensation and prefer ambidextrous gloves that is the gloves which allow equally well use of both the right as well as left hands that uh, that means that particular glove can be used equally well in your left whether you put it on your left hand or whether you put it on your right hand how do you store your gloves the glove boxes may get contaminated and unusable if they are not stored properly keep them away from areas where there might be any splash droplets or aerosol contamination what are over gloves sometimes you may suddenly need to reach out to a drawer to retrieve an item needed during the procedure so then one option is to wear a clean set of gloves over the gloves you are already wearing this is called as over gloves dentists dental assistants dental hygienists they frequently come in contact with saliva and blood so wearing suitable gloves for effective barrier protection is absolutely important so thank you for watching we are going to be coming up with new videos soon so keep watching